Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I don't have a lot of stuff to show you guys, but I have a few goodies that I wanted to share with you guys, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you this haul. Um, my store didn't have a lot of new stuff. I just wanted to do the one that's closest to me, the one that they just opened recently. So, and I made the mistake of going there hungry, so I, I, I got some food. Um, I'll go ahead and start with that. First thing I picked up was this pack of chocolate. Hershey's, in my opinion, is the best chocolate, so I know I would want some chocolate later, so I went ahead and grabbed a pack of that. Next, I grabbed some cookies, and we really like these fudge striped shortbread cookies. Um, so I knew we would, you know, want some cookies later as well. So I went ahead and grabbed these. And then, in my most recent video, I had mentioned Nutty Buddies. And so, <laughs> I ended up getting some because it sounded really good, and I haven't had these in a very long time. So I figured I would give the Mishes, Mishes the Mrs. Freshly's a try because I really like the Mrs. Freshly's donut sticks. They didn't have any of those at this Dollar Tree I went to. I was kind of bummed out, so I just got some Nutty Buddies, and those are an eight count. Um, and then the next thing I picked up, I really, really wanted to try these. I've tried these, um, I think I've tried one or two uh, flavors of these chips before. That's the Zaps brand potato chips, and they are New Orleans kettle style. And this is in the Cajun Dill Gator Taters. So I wanted to give these a try because I love the uh, Lay's pickle chips. And I really love kettle salt um, chips. So I wanted to try these. Okay, next I just picked up another jar of pickles. We had picked up a, a jar of these recently. We just got the um, dill pickle chips. This time I picked up the bread and butter chips because I really like these as well. Get a nice sized jar here. It's uh, 17 fluid ounces. So this is the same brand of the other ones we got, and they're really good, so I figured we would give these a try. Um, and next, I just picked up a couple more packs of the all pink Starburst, because these are my absolute favorite, and they're pink, and they look really cute in a candy dish, so I just wanted to get a couple more of those. Okay, next couple things. I grabbed one more of these metallic liquid liners. I picked up a couple of these in the past. I have a blue one and kind of like a maroon colored one. This one is in the color metallic lavender. And these are actually really nice liners, so I wanted to get a purple one. I don't have any liquid purple you know, eyeliners, so this one looked really pretty, so I just grabbed that. Um, and next, I needed a new loofah, so I came across this really cute pink one. Um, I'm hoping it'll, ex these usually expand a little more, so. Um, and it's just got like little sponge pieces in it. I thought it was really cute, so I just grabbed that one. Okay, next I have a couple of scoonchie products. These are each two-piece Barrett's um, snap clips, is what they're calling them. But I picked up the pink ones, and they're the really big ones. I think these are really cute. And then I also picked up these kind of like bronzy colored ones. But they have like, almost looks like green glitter or something on it. Hopefully you guys can tell. But these have glitter on them too. I just think they're really cute, and I've been really loving wearing those lately. Okay, next I picked up one of these eyeglass pouches, and I got these for my sunglasses because I always end up scratching them up, so I thought this would really come in handy when I throw them in my purse, but I just picked up this one. I thought it was really cute and colorful. I love the pineapples, um, and it just says pineapple crush on it, but I really like this too because it doesn't have like a clip or anything or like a drawstring to close the top because it just, it kind of snap shuts on its own, like you just squeeze the sides in there and then it like snaps shut. So I thought that was really cool. And they had a bunch of different designs of this, but this one definitely caught my eye. Next, I just picked up this sign. I've eyed this up a few times, but now I have some extra wall space in my office since I moved all of my makeup into my bedroom. So I picked this up. Um, it's just a sign that says strong is the new pretty. I thought it was really cute since it's pink and everything. So I figured I could hang this in there in some of that open space. Okay, and then the last products are all Bolero products, and these were the items that I was super excited to find. First, I came across the Hydra Mist Coconut Water 2-Pack of Hand Cream, and I figured I could keep one of these in here and one of these at my desk in my office. 
So, um, and they're just coconut water scented, I guess. Next, I came across some a few uh, new face masks that they had. The first one is this coconut aloe vera paper facial mask, and this is to moisturize and brighten, and it just looks like that. Really colorful packaging. Um, and then this next one is All That Glitz, and this is a pomegranate and green tea paper facial mask. And this one is soothing, moisturizing, and revitalizing. And it just looks like this. And then this last face mask is a Blueberry Bliss one. And this is your new secret weapon for soft and smooth skin. And it just looks like this. And the last three things is what I was most excited to find. These are actually facial mists that correspond with the same sense of the um, face masks. So I have the one in coconut aloe vera. And it's a nice size bottle too for a dollar. Like I can't believe that. That's, this is even bigger than the like Mario Badescu ones which are seven dollars. Um, and then I also got the pomegranate green tea one. And then the Blueberry Bliss, which the, this one smells the best in my opinion. They all smell really good, but I really love the Blueberry one. So I was super excited to, to find those Bolero products. Um, of course, there's a whole other list of things that I'm on the hunt for that I will hopefully be on, be able to go out and hunt for soon once I get some bills caught up and all that stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and share this small haul with you guys while I could. Hopefully you saw some things you were interested in and I hope you can find those things for yourself. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Um, thank you all so much for watching as always and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you.